hello everybody thank you so much again for tuning into my channel um again this is julissa i am a fashion designer and what my main goal is to give god um all the glory using my gifts and talents um i'm here today because <laughs> i'm it's so hard these days to even have conversation with people um you know in the in the sense of um uh in a christian point of view you know everybody like if you've been following me on instagram or on youtube or twitter you know that i'm a christian christ believing person trying to give god the glory but i just feel i don't know if you guys can relay i'm sure you can you know if you have the holy spirit in you you know you have discernment so i just feel like there is a spirit that people have these days that they they know how what life is and they're not ready um to have anybody coming in kind of like go against what they believe um because here's the thing though like i was just thinking um what we believe you know when we say this is wrong because it's based on what the word of god says right but these people they look at you like one you're either missing out in life or you're like i guess you can say a loser who doesn't do much it's just so strange anyway so let me get to my point because i you know i hate long videos um so i was just i was asked a couple of questions by the people that work with me because besides having this um studio and having doing my fashion thing i do have a day job which i um i do monday to friday um it's a full-time job and you know after that i come here and do this also um, but anyway, so you, you're talking in the office to people and they look at you and they ask you questions because I guess looking at it from the outside in a world that demands so much of you to have this and the other by certain age, you kind of stand out to people, I guess you can say. Um, so I was asked, you know, how come you're not married? How come you don't have any kids? Um, but these are people who have not had the time to even know, get to know me. Or even ask me, like, do you want to be a mom someday? Do you want to, I guess, be married someday? Which, don't get me wrong, I do want all of that. But it's just the way they come across as like, you don't have any kids? How old are you? Like, that is the biggest crime in society these days. Like, single woman, I'm sure you can relate. Single Christian believing ladies. You guys, I'm sure you can relate to this question. It, it doesn't happen just outside um of the church the church also um for some reason which you you will expect people to in the church to know that god has a plan for everybody and like there's no need to make somebody feel like they're even missing out in life or they're losers or they're like left out of you know the promises of god because they're not married by, by certain age. I mean, those are questions that you probably will get in an outside world, like I got in the office. But anyways, it's just so strange how society puts um, having a child as such an accomplishment in the way that and it, I know it is. I mean, we are supposed to. Um, let me see. Let me let me say the right word. Where God's go, God said in the Bible, you know, go and fill the earth. Um, and I understand that, but my biggest problem that I have when people get so into like, you're not married? How old are you? You don't have any kids? They don't even ask me if I'm married. It's like, you don't have any kids? Like, that's such a big crime. My, like, I don't think I ever said this to anybody, but a lot of the people that ask me that, they're single moms. They're single moms. They're living, a lot of them, um, living on um, government assistance. And I'm thinking to myself, like I always said, even when I was a young girl living in the Dominican Republic, I always said, you know, I want to have my kids and ha and be married. You know, I want to be married, have my kids by the time I have my own boutiques. And I'm th I am thought about this. And of course, it's probably not me thinking, you know, I was so young when I thought about this because I was like, I just want to be a hundred percent like having my boutiques and everything else before I have my kids. But these days, um, it's just so strange the way they make you make it seem to you like you're like staying behind of 
life like how can you not have you don't have any kids like how old are you like what are you doing and then i'm thinking these are people who are single moms who are probably relying on government assistance who tell me that after school this the kids goes to it to an after school program and they have to go pick them up and all of that like honestly like it's just so sad because a lot of unsolicited advisors it's based on selfishness of that person like these people they don't even get the chance to get to know me like i know people like some of my friends they don't want to have kids you know those mean they don't want to get married but in their mind they're 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 okay like they don't want to have kids and then one of one of the other people works was commenting how one of her sister never had kids and she's like and she's so lonely like i don't know what i will do i have to go visit her because she never had kids and she's so lonely like I don't feel alone at all. I don't know why that was thrown in my way. But then again, it's just um, immature comments that I guess all of us get. Um, these people have no idea what I do outside of work. They they don't want to have the time to even ask you anything. Um, and if you tell them, they probably ignore it anyways because they have such a set mind of what life should be. And it's just so sad because at one point she said, yeah, you're doing good because you, you have to wait, you know, just wait, take your time and then you'll go and get a man. And I knew right there when she said that to me, you go and get a man, like the Bible says, <laughs> and I said this to this person. Of course, I wasn't angry or anything. I was just, it was open, like my eyes were open the moment she said that because look who I'm talking to, somebody who says go and get a man, like the Bible says, he who finds the wife and I'm, you know, immediately I felt like, okay, so this is why we're having a conversation like that. Um, but anyways, um, if you ever have come across a conversation like this, um, you can comment. Let's let's start a conversation, you know, on the sh on the messages. Um, because I know I'm not the only person who gets comments like this. Career single ladies who believe in Christ. Um, it happens a lot. It happens outside of the church. I mean. I used to go to a church and at the end the pastor would see, uh, wait by the door, you know, to greet everybody as on the way out. The only thing he would say to me would be like, I'm praying for your husband. I mean, this pastor had no intention of knowing what I do for a living, not even the fashion thing, like my day job. He didn't know if I was living at home. He didn't know if I, somebody in my family was saying, he didn't know anything about me. Everything he said to me was, I am praying for your husband. <sighs> It's like, I don't know what to think of that. It's so strange to me. Like, like I could have a financial problem. I could have gotten like a problem at home with living with my family. And he, he, it was so strange. Like I never said to him, like I'm dying to get married. Like I never said that to him. I don't know if it's just, it, the problem is that it, it is suspected, but I'm a firm believer that everything comes in God's timing. Like I seen it happen with my fashion and everything. And it's just so strange to me. People these days, they they think they know exactly what you need in life. You know, they have the advice for everything. Um, nobody knows how to do anything until you start doing it. And everybody has an opinion about it and they know exactly what to do with it. Um, it could be a, a, a opening a business. It could be doing a volunteer work. Nobody does does it. Nobody knows anything about it. The minute you start doing it, they know everything, what to do, and everything about it. It's just so strange how people they say they don't get to know you. They just assume. Assumption, I feel like, is killing society. Relationships these days. Everything is assumed. And everything is assumed and the most popular assumption is belief and that's what they go for i mean i don't think i have i you know i used to go to that church you know with my mom and it's like did i did my does my church say like i can't wait to get married like this pastor never even asked me like he didn't even ask me anything about what i do at home what i do like i was new to the church i, I wasn't there for a while i was there for maybe a few years um and then when I opened the studio, you know, my mom used to, my mom is very social, you know, I, I, guess, I guess she was probably maybe when, before she got sick, but um, she would go out and tell people, oh, Julissa opened the studio, this and that, this is what it is, and this and whatever, and she's doing clothing, but they were like, oh, 
because they didn't know yet they assume i went to that church just to get a man i went to get jesus that's that's the only one who i was after they thought i was after every other man that came in and like you know they were like trying to introduce me to people and stuff and it's like i'm just after christ you know calm down everything has its timing in life anyways it's just sad because some days i left very feeling very um you know i will have a great time in worship and prayer and just the service was amazing and right at the door the pastor will look at me in front of everybody and say i am praying for your husband i was like what just happened <laughs> like and it completely killed my day because i just thought it was so strange um so and you know so i would get sad and everything but now i know better obviously but those were my time before and i just wanted to come out here and just do this video and i'm sorry it's kind of long if you ever had an experience like this please comment you know i want to i know i'm not the only one i you know my sister probably had gone through a lot of that too um you know everything you know if you are a firm believer that god saved you from um it from like going to hell and everything why are you pressuring a single christian woman lady of christ created in god's image to get married when you know that everything god has god knows everything god knows every every piece of hair that i have god knows everything you were created with a purpose why are you in the in the business of just trying to find people husbands and like without even asking them hey is there anything going on in your life that i can pray about how about we start getting to know people like really now everybody's just going crazy like i can't wait to get my kids and get married and stuff and like have a boyfriend and i'm just saying <laughs> okay thank you so much for watching i'm gonna be doing more videos See, i'm telling you i just need to find the time to come out here and make a video so i have a, so much life experiences and testimonies and everything that god is doing and god has been revealing to me so um if you want to join me in this journey i would suggest you subscribe and you can follow me also on Instagram, at Julissa Designs, and see what I'm doing with the fashion thing that's a mannequin out there, so don't get scared. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.